Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. My name is Zita and if you are new to this channel you are welcome. On this channel I share with you my relaxed hair journey, a lot of DIYs, cute protective styles and I also review some relaxed hair products. So in today's video I'll be sharing with you how to make these tea rains that will help promote massive hair growth. So if you're interested in seeing how to make these tea rains or how to even know some of the ingredients, kindly stay tuned onto this video. The first ingredients we'll be using will be our fenogreek. Fenogreek is a plant that is about 60 to 90 centimeters tall. Fenogreek has green leaves, small white flowers, and a pot that contains small golden brown seeds. Fenogreek is high in protein, essential vitamins, and minerals necessary for healthy hair growth. It can also help get rid of any scalp inflammation causing hair loss. Fenogreek can stop hair fall, promote healthy hair growth, help with dandruff, stop scalp irritation, condition and also revitalize the hair. The next seed we are going to be using will be our black seed, which is an annual flowering plant. This seed has a lot of different names and is also called the Kalonji seed, the Nigella, black caraway, nut milk flower. Some benefits of black seed include promoting blood circulation, maintaining the health of the scalp and also prevent grain of the hair. It also promotes healthy hair growth and also strengthens the hair follicles. So those are some of the benefits of black seed and as I said it has a lot of names so you can check that out. So in order to prepare our tea rains, you'll be needing a pot and inside that pot I'll be adding one cup of water. You, I, you can have it like a pre-boiled water or you can just pour it in then you boil your water. So you can either infuse this as a tea or you can boil it the same way I'm doing right now. Once I have a cup of water, I will also be adding two teaspoons of my fenogreek seed. also be adding one teaspoon of my black seed my kalonja seed my nut milk seed any that you call so i'll be adding one tablespoon of my black seed into it and i'm going to boil this for about 10 to 15 minutes if you would like to avoid the boiling metal i would advise you infuse this for about 45 minutes to an hour before using it so once this is really really boiled for about 15 minutes i'm going to close it then i take it off the lid i'm not going to let this to completely cool down because there is also another ingredient i would like to add in it so this is how it looks like our water is still a little bit a little bit warm so i'll be using a a sieve to just sieve it through because i don't need the seeds to be inside the tea rains So once I sieve that, the next ingredients I'm going to add into our lid, into our ingredients will be our rose water. Guys, if you haven't used rose water before in your hair regimen or advice, you give it a try. It's actually amazing. So I'm going to be adding just one tablespoon of rose water, which helps to cleanse the scalp, treat inflammation, irritation, and also help treat dandruff. So I'm going to pour that in. So the last I'll be adding will be our MSM, which is known for its uh, sulfur-rich compound with anti-inflammatory properties. It is also believed to increase the hair growth phase. So I'm just going to add just a tiny little bit into my fenogreek and black seed water. So the reason why I said I like to use mine when it's a little bit warm is just so that it helps the, the SMA msm to really really dissolve like you don't want to have particles of msm inside your your tea so if your tea is really cold it might be a little bit hard so i like it when mine is a little bit warm 
so once i mix that properly i'm just going to pour the tea inside my applicator bottle and guys there are two ways in which i can use this tea rinse or in which you can use this tea rinse if you want to use it as a tea rinse after you shampoo your hair i would advise you just stand in the shower and pour it down to your hair let it sit for about 15 minutes then you go ahead and apply your deep conditioner on it before you rinse your hair if you don't want to do that method and you just want to use it to mist your hair this is how i do it i just use it to mist my hair either in any protective style or my own hair once i mist my hair please don't forget to follow up with moisturizing and sealing your hair if that is what you normally do if what you normally do is just to apply any butter on your hair like let's say shea butter cocoa butter then please don't forget to do that once you mist your hair with the fenugreek uh, black seed rose water and the msm spray guys don't forget that so once as i said once i spray my hair with this i'm going to follow up with my moisturizer and then sealing my hair so that is it guys thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and see you guys in my next video